we will start from the data, as I said. Then we will create a machine learning model. We will export the machine learning model in PMML format. Then we will create a PMML model that uses the PMML and adds some more logic on it, uh, on top of it. Then we will create the Cogit application, create the Docker image, and deploy it with the Trace DI infrastructure. Our scenario is about the more gauge. So we will create an application to estimate the risk um, a, um, on a given request, more gauge request. So we see that our data set um, has the age information, the monthly salary information, the total asset, the total amount of money that the, the, the person is requiring, and then the number of installments. And then we have the response variable, so the risk. So I've created a very simple R script, and it's simply reading the, the file, the data set, and then it's creating the formula, and then it's simply training a machine learning model. A small disclaimer, of course, this is not how you should do data science. And I'm assuming that you are a little bit familiar with data science. And yeah, this is not the way you do data science. I create my space. Then we simply create a project and we call it my mortgage. Here we click on import assets and we call it risk random forest. We select the file and you see here that we have the risk random forest. Super. And this is a small um, manual step. So we have to use the PMML version 4.2. Uh, so we have to modify it by hand because the R library is using 4.4 and Business Central accept 4.2. So let's save it. Super. And then we download it. Okay. Then we go back to the to the project and we import a DMN model. So I've already prepared it, but I will quickly show it. So we call it uh, my mortgage. And we select the DMN model that is available under the resources. So let's have a look at it. So it's a very simple DMN model, and we have three inputs, which is applicant, and it's a structure T applicant. Then we have the financial situation, which is again a structure, and then the mortgage request. And of course, the let's see how they are structured. So we have the applicant structure, which contains the first name, the last name, and then the age. Then we have the financial situation of the requester, and it, it um, includes the monthly salary and the total assets, so the total amount of money that he has. And then the mortgage request, so the total amount of money that he requires together with the number of installments. And of now we have to link the PMML model that we imported. And so here we include the model, and we select the risk random forest provide a, uh, a unique name. And then we go into the BKM, BKM function. We select the, the machine learning model and the random forest model. And you see here that automatically it figures out what are the inputs of this BKM function. So we specify that the inputs are numbers. And we go back. And in order to use the BKM function, we need um, a decision. And you see here what are the, the inputs of our BKM function. So we pick up the age from the applicant, then the monthly salary from this financial situation, together with the total assets, and then the total required and the number of installments. And at the very beginning, I said, yeah, let's use DMN and DMN to put some more logic on top of the PMN model. So here you see that the risk score is the input of this decision, which is mortgage approval. So let's have a look at it. So it's very simple. If the risk score is below 40, then the mortgage is approved. Otherwise, it's not approved. 
So we just put a very simple decision on top of our uh, PMM model uh, to predict the risk score of the applicant. 